Huh, well, this isn't gonna work. This hair is so gross. <laughs> oh my god. You know when you're almost through recording your haul and the camera isn't even recording. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Okay, let's uh, do this again. Hola, Camigos. I am here to do another Helpings Hand Thrift Haul. I went with Sadie to try and, you know, show her the ropes of thrifting because she reached out after watching one of my videos. So I said, sure, why not? Yeah, no, why not? And so I took her to Helping Hands because that's where I have my 25 cent bin. She didn't really find anything, but of course, your girl did. I always tend to find stuff, especially if it's for 25 cents. FYI, my lighting is different because I am doing it without my two background lights. So this is just my ring light by itself. Um, that's with... Here, I'll put them both on so you guys... So that's them with it both on. That's what it looks like. So... I'm trying to experiment with like different backgrounds and everything, so you guys just be patient with me. All right, so uh, let's get right into it. I'm just gonna go again. <laughs> First thing that I have is by H&M. It is a size eight, and it is this light wash skinny jean, and I absolutely love the way it fit on me. It is a high waist on me. It does have a stain on here, so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll just get some sandpaper, destroy it. I'll probably make these into destroyed jeans, so yeah, it all works out. Everything in this haul is 25 cents. The next thing that I have is Massimo in a size medium. And you guys, this is a Target brand, if you guys didn't already know. It has a collar, it is short sleeve, has two pockets in the front, has, I wanna say that's like a bronze copper buttons in the front. It is a shorter but longer skirt. It's not the short skirt that you're used to me seeing all the time. It works perfectly with boots. I think anyways, and I like how it cinches at the waist, and the thing that sold me on it is it has pockets, so you know me and my weakness for pockets. Not that I carry a lot of pockets. The next thing that I have is an Active Basic. It's in a size large. It's just this basic gray cardigan top that would that I thought would be great for layering during the winter time, and again, it has pockets. I have is uh, an H&M and brand and this is in a size medium. It is a beautiful purple knit sweater and I absolutely love these types of sweaters because they're just so lightweight like literally you can like see through. I don't know if you can see through it right now but yeah and it has a pocket. That's a plus and then it also has quarter sleeve as well as a split down the side bottom high low to a certain degree. Sweaters. These are sweaters I am going to be going and cropping, making them into crop tops and destroying them. That's the first one. It is a gray crew neck sweater. It says Washington in purple. And then the other is a purple um, crew neck. Uh, has white in Washington. So I like that. I have is by Necessary Objects and this does not have a size but I'm guessing it's a medium or a small because it does fit me perfectly. It is a uh, gray slash black skirt, shorter skirt and it's a skater skirt and I love how it fits on me and you guys. Plus it has pockets. Yes! Another basic I picked up was the Gray Matte Concepts in a size extra large. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and crop this. It is a dark and light green horizontal striped shirt. has a pocket on the front and I think it would make perfect for either gym or for cropping. I have the tea by T bar by Cotton On, which is a lar in a large, and I actually really was drawn to this sweater. It is shorter in the front, so it makes perfect for if you're gonna wear jeans. It it doesn't overpower you as far as the top because I feel like when I wear jeans and then I wear a loose shirt to be like sort of cutesy, I feel like it just devours me and it just 
takes up so much of my body. It makes me look like a barrel, no shape whatsoever. But yeah, I really like the way that this is styled and I also like the color. It is almost like a light salmon, uh, light salmon edging on both of the sleeves as well as the neckline that matches the stripes throughout. Seahawks sweater or three Seahawks t-shirts. I'm either going to crop or just keep as Jim's shirts. The first one is a dark gray, has Super Bowl 48 champions on it. The second one is a blue one that just says Seattle Seahawks divisional champions, NFC West. And then the other one is a more lighter gray and it says the same thing, Super Bowl 48 champs. have is Jones New York and this is in a size 10. It is a chiffon type of fabric and it is a floral top that would go great again for layering and it just it feels so lightweight you can just layer multiple layers on top of it which always looks cute during the winter time. actually for my mom. This is by Coldwater Creek in a size small. It still has the original tag from Coldwater and also has a little thing for extra buttons. So there is that. It reminds me of a of Easter. What Easter would look like if it was a jacket. It's a lightweight jacket and it has, you know, the usual Easter colors. Not sure if my mom would like it, but I think that it would keep her warm and that she would, you know, enjoy it or see what she can do with it. Donate it to the Philippines for 25 cents is not bad. The next thing that I have is by Sonoma in a size small. And you guys, I tried this on and I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually really comfortable and really warm. It is a grayish cardigan and it fits my body so well. It gives me a shape. And this top here, this edging on the neckline, really acts as like a scarf. I really like it. I'm really excited to style this with pieces because this makes great for layering pieces. And yeah, I know, I know. This whole thing is just layering, layering, layering. But you guys, come winter time, you will see. Alrighty, and then the last thing that I have is by Forever 21 in a large. And it is a plaid black, white, and red, or blue black and red uh, plaid and I love me my plaid. I love putting it around my waist. Yeah, sold. So here I have 16 items for 25 cents each. And so that costs $4. And then with my discount, which was 10% since I had a little punch card that I had, that was only 40 cents off. So pretty much all together, it was $3.97. Here is that. Yeah, I'm super excited. This was not expected at all. So it was a nice, nice little surprise. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, go and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, click that red subscribe button and do not forget to click on that bell so that you can be notified of any new uploads I have as they become available. And yeah, I hope you have a great day and I will see you later. Bye!